Hello friends, I am back. In the first part of this video, all about our solar system, I have talked about the sun, the four terrestrial planets, the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter surrounding the sun, <coughs> surrounding the sun and the four planets. Today, we will talk about the four Jovian planets divided into two subcategories, gas giants and ice giants. The gas giants are Jupiter and Saturn and the ice giants are Uranus and Neptune. Also, let me tell you about how many moons each planet has. Mercury has 0, Venus has 0, Earth has 1, but some scientists say that Earth has 3 moons. I mean the two dust cloud made moons each 9 times as big as Earth. The debate is still going on if Earth has one moon or three moons. So, as far as I know, I will say Earth has one moon, the moon in our night sky. Mars has two moons, asteroids probably, not the well-shaped moons. Jupiter has 79 moons. 53 moons have been named and the rest are awaiting official names. Saturn has 82 moons out of which 53 have been named and the others are waiting official names. Uranus has 27 and Neptune has 14 moons. Okay, so in this part of the video, I will tell you about the secret. And the four gas at four outer planets, the Kuiper belt, Pluto. Why is it not a part of our solar system as a planet? So, let's go. Jupiter. The largest Jovian in our solar system, it is also the largest planet. Jupiter is twice all the other planets put together. It has the strongest gravity in space. It is two and a half times more gravitationally stronger than Earth. That means if you weigh 100 pounds on Earth, you will be 240 pounds to 50 pounds on Jupiter. Scientists believe that if you start to jump cloud parachute into Jupiter, you'll never land on a firm surface. Every time you try to stand, you'll fall because the crust is just another layer of gases. Scientists say that Jupiter has no terrains, only gases. This planet's atmosphere is consisting of 90% hydrogen, 10% helium and traces of other gases. Scientists also say that if Jupiter was 80 times more massive than it is now, it has a chance to become a tiny red dwarf star. But all, some scientists also say that Jupiter is a failed star because it has hydrogen and helium in its atmosphere and all the necessary things required to become a star. So there is a failed star orbiting the successful star. <laughs> Jupiter has a spot called the Great Red Spot. It is actually a very severe storm raging for almost 300 years. Can you believe it? 300 years. Jupiter has an inner core which scientists do not know if it is a molten rock, molten core made up of molten rock or a solid rocky core. There is even evidence that the gas giant's core is melting right at this moment. But whatever the truth is, Jupiter's temperature is 63,000 degree Fahrenheit, I mean 35,000 degree Celsius. Jupiter has rings so light they cannot be seen, even with a telescope. Saturn. Look at this planet with the big rings. Welcome to the planet whose winds move about 1100 miles per hour. It is also a planet with a big and beautiful rings. Saturn's rings width are as much as the distance from the Earth's to moon, but are barely a kilometer thick, 0.62 miles. Saturn's rings are not solid as you see it from outer space. It is actually made of tiny and big asteroids from the microscopic things to things as big as houses then ice, dust, rock, debris, and God knows what else. Saturn has more sulfur than Jupiter. That's why it has a small red color in it. Saturn's 
atmosphere also contains of hydrogen and helium. Going inside Saturn, the gassy hydrogen becomes liquid as the pressure intensifies. When it goes deeper into Saturn, the liquid hydrogen becomes metallic. The Uranus. Look at this blue green planet with the rings. It is also the coldest planet in our solar system. And yes, also this thing. Saturn is the least dense planet in our solar system. One is the average of Earth's density. That means Saturn will float if you put it in a giant bathtub. <laughs> Uranus. It is the planet, the coldest in our solar system. It is also one of the two ice giants. Uranus, Uranus axis tilt is 98 degrees. It is famous for rotating on its side. Uranus atmosphere also contains hydrogen and helium and a bit of methane. Uh, and quite a good amount of methane. But Uranus's methane amount gives it a blue green color. Or if it did not have methane, then it would have red or orange type of whatever uranus's core is the coolest in our solar system only 5000 degrees celsius it has a mantle representing 80 percent of the ice giant's volume the it is also not the solid ice you will be thinking of it is a liquid hot thick liquid of water ammonia and methane Better referred to as the water ammonia ocean. Then Neptune. Welcome to this planet with the winds that travel across 1200 miles per hour. Neptune's clouds of frozen methane are whipped across its atmosphere at a 1200 miles per hour. Like Uranus, Neptune's atmosphere also contains of hydrogen and helium. But as usual, methane presence in the atmosphere of Neptune gives it its bluish color. Neptune's core is also as cool as Uranus, 5000 degrees Celsius. These, the second of the ice giant's core, slightly smaller than Uranus, also has that water ammonia ocean in the mantle. Uh, sorry. And Neptune also has rings. And and Uranus and Neptune have hydrochloride in the atmosphere, which makes us stick like pew. I think aliens need deodorant to land there. It is. Beyond Neptune is Pluto, the smallest planet in our solar system. Deodorant is even smaller than the moon. <laughs> Pluto is not dense enough to become a terrestrial planet and not that big enough to become a Jovian planet. In 2006, after a much heated debate, Pluto was considered as a dwarf planet, but not one of the eight planets of our solar system. Then, the Kuiper Belt. The Kuiper Belt lying on Pluto's orbit with a collection of rocky ice, debris, rock, dust, God knows what else. If Neptune was not there, then the Kuiper belt would have been not been there. Everything would have been scattered because Neptune's gravity is what holds the Kuiper belt in its place. It is the birthplace of many comets, like the Halley's comet streaking across the sky, a beautiful pattern. Beyond the Kuiper belt, far, far away, is the Oort cloud, a collection of icy debris at the edge of the solar system. Since the sun's gravitational forces end there. So, want to know about the secret? Yes. Look, there's a scale in here. And I hold it like this. No, it's falling out. Now I hold it like this. Yeah, it's supported. That means the point which my fingertip relays on the scale, you see. This point is called the barycenter or the center of mass and gravity of the scale. Here, here is the barycenter of the scale. Look, look, it will be supported in one fingertip. Like that, the barycenter of the solar system is little nearer to the sun. 
It is the center of mass and gravity of our solar system. Even the sun revolves so light that space, uh, space satellites were detected, but they did observe it. <laughs> so that means the sun and all the sun revolves also rotating. All the planets except Jupiter revolve around the sun. They are just too small to revolve around the sun. Actually, Jupiter looks like it's revolving around the sun, but actually it is revolving around the body center the common point of mass and gravity of our solar system. Yeah, Jupiter is too big not to follow the sun. Yeah. And that means Jupiter is a failed star because it has hydrogen and helium in its atmosphere. This is another secret. So that means the failed star is revolving around the successful star. <laughs> okay. Enough of comedy now. Now I will release another video for the human body or digestive system. Okay then, I will release it in next week. Until then, please wait. Bye.